Gonna give a little garden update. Our okra plants aren't doing very well. They're pretty small. Kind of scattered in between here. They didn't really come up like I wanted them to, but I've got some clusters I'm going to transplant around this area and try to get enough to make a batch through here. We've got some cilantro coming up right here. We've already eat a little bit of it. I always put the herbs on the sides of the bed. And our bell peppers, I've put our cages up. I'll just tie them to the cages as they grow. I've put down some pine needles from the neighbor's yard. She, I keep the neighbor's yard up, mow and weed eat and whatever work that the yard needs, I do it for my neighbor. She's an elderly lady that lives alone, so kind of help her out a little bit but she's got some pine trees we um, take some of these needles and put them in the garden bed to keep the weeds down these are our Carolina Reapers got two of them that came up and I just put this piece of uh, cage propped up over it and that helps keep the cats out of the bed this these ends for some reason is Real tempting for the cats to get in and try to use it as a litter box so we try to discourage that by putting pieces of this is concrete wire that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot in the concrete section and you can just cut this up that's what I made these tomato cages out of which I used the, tom the short ones for uh, bell peppers and I've got some taller ones I use for tomatoes Planted some dill on the end of this row. You can kind of see they're they're starting to come on. I just did a little row of dill, and our tomatillos are growing up our trellis. You can kind of see the the size of them. And this is our cayenne pepper, and these two I believe are Anaheim peppers here I've got some oregano just gonna have one oregano plant and I've got a few parsley plants around this side and then this is gonna be my squash plants and they're looking pretty good got three of those our sage plant that overwintered is looking really nice I need to start clipping some of that and drying some of the sage so that looks really nice On the end of the bed, we've got cucumbers starting to come up. I always grow them on the ends and run up the trellis. We just built this trellis. This is a new trellis. We just took some angle iron and uh, welded it with a little support. Took the concrete wire, welded it into the corners. Just did a little relief cut and uh, give it a little bend just set it down in there welded it in place these work pretty good for tomatoes anything else you want to grow up a trellis so now all three beds has got similar trellises this is my tarragon we like tarragon they grow pretty big so if you grow this herb just kind of keep I wouldn't put too many of them one one plant you can get a lot of herb off of it <clears throat> we've got uh, I think those are jalapenos we've got to the point where we really don't remember everything we planted where and I've got two peppers here and I don't really remember what those are either but we've got serranos and jalapenos, so I think both of those are jalapenos and serranos. And I've got two zucchini plants and our 
tomatoes are looking pretty good. These two are cherry tomatoes. And these three are going to be San Marzano, which is a Roma style tomato. And we've got eggplants in the middle. And then four slicing tomato plants. Back here we've got three ghost pepper plants. So a Jalokia pepper. I try to separate my peppers a little bit. Not plant them all together. We've got some basil growing along the side of this bed. But that's where we're at. The tomatoes look really good. You can kind of see the stem. The stems are looking pretty good coming up. I've done a little bit of trimming on the bottom off of these slicing tomatoes. You can kind of tell. Took off some of the suckers, some of the bottom branches. But I'm not going to heavily prune these. I'll let the suckers grow. Um, after the first couple of branches, I'm just going to let it grow. See how it turns out. I used to sucker them, pull all the suckers off and let it grow straight up. But I don't think I'm going to do that this year. I'm going to let these uh, some of the suckers grow and see if we get more tomatoes. I've been feeding them with a water soluble plant food about every 10 to 14 days. So they seem to be doing pretty good. So that's my update on my garden. It's uh, mid May. So it's May 14th. So this is kind of where we're at. We got an early start on the garden, so everything's everything's coming on pretty good. There's the cat and another piece of concrete wire there. To discourage any cats getting in there and using these ends as a litter box. I don't know why they like the, the ends of the beds, but I've noticed that's primarily primarily where they go. I haven't noticed any since we've kind of blocked this off. This is the, the bed the update so far. Now, kind of show some more through the through the season. Thanks for watching.